Hi guys! Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca from Artist Rebecca LS. Today I thought moving forward with the apple theme I seem to be on at the moment where I can only seem to be drawing apples constantly I get phases like that. So what I thought Today I could try and draw an original character based off the apples. What do you think? So I thought using just this regular um, printer paper and this apple as reference, I could see what I could come up with. Now, I'm not good at drawing people or characters in general, so please forgive the crudeness that's going to appear before your eyes. I'm thinking it's going to be a girl, so at least we've got that in our minds. And, you know, I'm terrible. I can, you know, look and watch many Drawing with Waffles videos, and I still won't be able to draw a proper character, which does frustrate me, but <laughs> at least, you know, I say it eventually, it, I might crack it. <laughs> We might actually get there and break through that wall of frustration. We do just have to keep at it, I know. I do. What I do want to get a 0 0.5 uh, propelling mechanical pencil, I call them propelling or mechanical, um, that Faber Castell do, just to see if that's going to help me not to be so frustrated that my work isn't neat, um, the lines are too fat, you know, if the line is thinner I can get more detail into my work and I do like to add detail and I'm put off doing that with the big leads in the pencil. So I was thinking there would be this hat, possibly maybe like uh, so and like with this sticking up like like that just like a, a cappy thing just there <laughs> it's a bit like the top of an apple isn't it and then maybe like probably I tend to always do dresses So maybe we'll kind of do maybe the colour of an apple, possibly. Because if we actually do an apple character, it's just going to be like that. So I could do possibly that, what I'm thinking. Let's so say I just go at these videos. I haven't done any pre-planning, it's just what comes in my head <laughs> when I press record on the, uh, on the phone, so sorry if it's really not up to par. Right. Wrong way, you always do hands backwards. Okay, of course the arm went there. Legs are a little bit too fat. We thin them out a little. So, could then do have some eyes, fill them in. We could do pips, I suppose, couldn't we? Just little. And I will get some Prismacolors, dare I, <laughs> waste the precious Prismacolors on a basic sketch. But they are what is to hand. The 
example apple is um, crayon rocks and I packed them away at the time of recording so I'm thinking the precious prismacolors are to hand and they're going to be used so the uh, red crimson Again, I'm not going to do it like perfect. Not that it's not just about not wanting to waste the Prismacolors. <laughs> it's um, just basically we want to get a rough idea, and we're going to with the uh, process red do the outline like here because the outline or well, the outside of the apple is always darker. So if I give her an apple themed dress, then I feel I've kind of achieved what I've set out to do, which is to do an original character based from an apple. We kind of here is like some green in the middle. did have this lovely green channel on <laughs> my cute what is it called I think it's chartreuse yes chartreuse I'm low on that and white <laughs> and black <laughs> I think I might have possibly found a few colors on French Amazon that are sold separate but possibly white and black for not too much of a ridiculous price so perhaps at the end of the year i might get some just that they are ridiculously expensive the prisma colors i keep saying it i don't know why when they're not light fast except for yes i know they are a unique one of a kind soft core you won't get the soft, uh, another soft core pencil that is going to be like Prismacolor or the Prismacolor Premier. Just block in the colour so that we can see what we're working with, like so. We've got things like that. And then the trousers might actually do some brown because um, they could act a bit like the stem. And we've just dropped a Prismacolor on the floor. I can't bear to look because it's probably smashed the core on the tiled floor. So I'm not going to look until I finish recording. Right, and then do a little kind of shoe like this, and the shoe like this, so it's like little pips there, and the inside of an apple is kind of well, it's kind of Paley, like off white, isn't it? So <laughs> I've got these kind of colours. It's kind of a bit greeny. So this is uh, ginger root and the uh, light peach. I think I might be able to do something with that. I'm just going to erase a bit because these colours are light and um, it can come through, you know, the pencil can, the, uh, the graphite can kind of come through and smudge, so let's have a go at putting some of this light peach down. Get 
some of that down here. As I say, we might go into a time lapse, guys, because my quiet time is limited. <laughs> so I think that might work, the ginger root, because there is a kind of greeny tinge to the inside of an apple, isn't there? So if we do this, the inside of the apple is greeny. Yeah, good, I'm pleased. It's a nice colour. We'll put some of that over the top of the peach. And then we've got the hair colour. Not sure what we're going to do with that. We start blending a little. that's going to work isn't it we just keep adding on to the color and bring in the dark to the light I'm kind of just scribbling because I'm going to be blending all of this out anyway with the uh, cotton buds. I just go over the top of that green. And we will go in. We'll go into a time lapse, guys. 